Good afternoon, everyone, and um, a very exciting afternoon for me as I'm standing in front of Surya Kiran. I'm in Aero India 2023, and I am right now with Flight Lieutenant Ridhima Gurung. Ridhima Gurung is the only female in the team of uh, Surya Kiran here participating in Aero India. And all the three days that we saw, not only three days, all over the world, Surya Kiran has been performing has been enthralling the crowd. So today we are going to ask and we are going to know from Radhima how it has been, how has it has been the journey when you travel to all over the world, taking the team, uh, the crowd which greet you and they're excited to see you always. How has been the experience till now, Radhima? It has been a wonderful experience. So uh, the aim of the team like uh, is to motivate the youth to join the esteemed defense services. So whenever we carry out displays, which we have carried out close to 600 displays since the establishment of the team, it is such a great feeling of gratitude and love that we feel from everyone. So, so far, I think I just have a heart filled with gratitude. Great. Well, I would like to tell my audiences here that all the beautiful and wonderful commentary that you hear when the Surya Kiran is performing, the Surya Kiran pilots are performing their maneuvers in the sky, it's all the lovely, melodious voices, Ms. Ridhima Gurung's voice. <laughs> so, uh, tell me, this, the script that you make, I mean, I've heard it so many times, this time also heard it twice already. You make it yourself, is it your input or how, how it comes? There are so many things, the poetry and everything, which is which just goes together very well. How do you, how do, you do that? Uh, so ma'am, uh, the team trains for six months and uh, post that we're out on six months of display. So when the pilots are training in the air, I'm also training on the ground. So everything, the show that we put on is not just a show in the air. It has to be very beautiful to find it together so that right. we are able to give you what we are presenting in front of you. So of course, a lot of inputs and you know, staying with them, learning about what is happening in the cockpit, what is happening in the ground. I think with all the inputs, we just create a beautiful story. So for the 20 minutes or the 22 minutes of display that we would want to find the audience to us. And that let me tell you, you actually do that. The audience is buying and mesmerized with your voice. When you're telling all the stories, the poetries and small, small snippets, it's beautiful. So, uh, uh, Ms. Karam, tell me something. Uh, how it is different when you, when, you have, when you do this commentary outside India and in India? Um, it's a little different in the sense that, uh, of course, the uh, language changes. So, uh, we make it a point that wherever we go, we do like to imbibe the language. So we just did a show in Trivandrum. So we did I had a little bit snippets of Malayali today. We added a little snippets of Kannada. Mm -hmm. So we always try to do that so that we can, so that the crowd can feel more comfortable with us. Mm -hmm. And I think every time we go for a display outside India, it is a different feeling because the setup is entirely different. There's right. so many learning values to be exchanged and culture and experiences. Yeah. So I think that's the best part. And actually I captured you all in Dubai as well last time. Oh. So that's why I was interested. I mean, when you, uh, the script was changed, of course. Yeah. So, what are what are the essentials that you keep in mind while writing that for a different country? Um, I think, like I said, crowd connect is very important. Mm -hmm. We would like to include their music. We would like to include their language. We would like to have somebody who can maybe speak a few lines for us, and we will make it very uh, audience based. Our show is very audience based. So right. Now coming back to being a female, mm -hmm. a proud female in the team. So. It makes you feel special, isn't it? <laughs> so, how um, it has been your uh, dream to? It had been like from a long time that you wanted to be in the in uh, Indian Air Force, or it just came I as a chance? Or? I would like to thank my parents for it that uh, they are the ones who guided me. That why don't you try this? Yeah. So initially, I did not have an inclination to be very honest. But once I cleared my examinations, I went to academy for a year. Mm -hmm. My inclination towards and my fascination towards the forces absolutely changed. And I know that every Indian is serving their country in some or the other way. And it's an honor for me to do it in this region. Great. Uh, now next, the challenges. Definitely, as a female, you will feel some challenges. You will get to, like, as a journalist, I get challenges in a defense journalism uh, uh, world. So. The challenges that you have felt and you have experienced during your whole tenure? The most beautiful part is yes. what I'm about to tell you. So we always say it's the Surikiran aerobatic team. Mm -hmm. That team word is the most important yes. part. Yes. So I 
Uh, one, and especially once you join the forces, there is no gender disparity. So I left the woman officer part of me behind. I'm an officer, I'm a team member. So any problem that I have, I can approach my colleagues and I can seek their help. So, so far it has been a great experience working with them. Uh, Ms. Kong, when you were walking with the whole team, the team was like full of compassion, you in the middle and all the pilots together working with you. How was it feeling? It is, it's, I want to know from you, how is the feeling? It's, it's a great feeling because at the end of the day, we are all team members and we are part of such a beautiful team. So I think whenever you see us, there will be a lot of fun, we a lot of camaraderie and that is what you see when we walk and we make public appearances. So it's and thing. now that um, you really ask the young generation, the young girls to join the Indian Air Force. So any message you want to give to them? Um, there's this very uh, famous billboard by the Indian Air Force which says that looking for the next career option take the next few milliseconds to decide. So I would like to end it at that and I would like to tell everybody that it's a beautiful career opportunity. Please do give it a try. Thank you so much Ms. Gurung. Thanks for your time and it was really a pleasure speaking to you. Thank, Thank you so much.